Did you know that ancient Hindu temples may have been built with technology far beyond our own understanding? It's no wonder so many people believe these were creations of aliens or otherworldly forces. From structures that align with cosmic patterns to stone carvings that emit mysterious frequencies, these temples hold secrets that could reshape our understanding of history. But what if the real story goes deeper? Imagine stepping into one of these ancient temples, feeling a deep, almost magnetic pull toward its center. As you look around, you might wonder, why were these temples so deliberately crafted? Could it be that the people who built them had a different kind of technology, one that wasn't based on machines, but on a profound understanding of energy, nature, and the universe? This isn't just about ancient rituals. It's about what we might be missing in our understanding of technology and spirituality today. Today, technology surrounds us. Smartphones, digital assistants, devices tracking our every step. But in ancient times, technology was not just functional, it was sacred. Hindu temples might have been far more than religious sites. They're believed to hold clues to an ancient understanding of physics, cosmology, and life itself. Knowledge we are only beginning to rediscover. Let's dig into the facts and see if we're missing pieces of advanced science hidden in plain sight. Let's start with the Brihadiswara temple in Tamil Nadu, a structure so imposing that modern architects still wonder how it was built over 1,000 years ago. The 80-ton capstone atop this 216-foot tower is perfectly balanced, yet without cranes or modern machinery, and there's more to it. Sanskrit texts found nearby describe techniques to harness sound energy, creating something similar to what we know today as acoustic levitation. Imagine, could sound waves have been a power source known to ancient builders? Then there's the Sun Temple at Konark, its 12 wheels acting like a solar clock, marking the Sun's position and time with precise engineering. Ancient legends speak of the temple as a living sun, one that drew its energy directly from the heavens. Modern researchers now believe it was intentionally aligned to harness and amplify solar power, creating a field of energy within its walls. Could it be that this temple once served as a cosmic energy source, an ancient solar power plant? These temples stand as marvels of precision engineering, but a question remains, if ancient architects could achieve such levels of mastery, why don't we see more of it in later eras? They built these grand structures, yes, but why didn't this knowledge continue? Was it the impact of wars and invasions that led to the loss of these techniques, or perhaps the teachings themselves were so guarded that they faded over time? And that raises another question, how did this knowledge even come to be? Was there an enlightened master who discovered these techniques, passing them down in a lineage of highly trained artisans, or is the real answer locked in ages we know so little about, a period beyond our current evidence? The concept of sacred technology goes beyond stone and mortar. Texts like the Atharva Veda mention plants that ancient priests used in rituals, plants believed to hold energy-enhancing properties that amplified the temple's power. The Tulsi plant, for example, is still considered sacred in Hinduism for its healing and purifying abilities. It's thought that specific plants were placed around temples to create a kind of energy network, a natural biological technology that helped amplify the spiritual and perhaps physical power within these structures. What if this use of plants in temple complexes was part of a larger interconnected ecosystem? The air, the stones and the people themselves could have been part of a continuous energy exchange, a design that blended nature and technology in ways we are only beginning to rediscover. Modern research confirms that Tulsi has antibacterial properties and even releases oxygen at night, making it more than just a symbol. It's a functional purifier. Researchers today study the impact of indoor plants on air quality, noting how they filter out toxins and increase oxygen levels. But in the past, without advanced tools or scientific instruments, how could ancient builders know this? It suggests a deep connection with nature, perhaps a wisdom handed down through observation, experimentation and intuition. These temples weren't just spiritual spaces, they were feats of engineering genius. Let's look at the Kailasa Temple in Ellora, carved entirely from a single piece of solid rock. 
Modern engineers have difficulty even imagining how this was accomplished without lasers or power tools. According to some theories, they used a technique called rock-cut architecture, combined with chisels and rudimentary tools, yet with such precision that the structure is perfectly symmetrical. Another impressive feature is the stone interlocking method used in places like the Sun Temple of Modera. Builders used no cement or mortar. Instead, they cut each stone to interlock perfectly with the next, creating seismic resistance in these massive structures. This technique inspired modern interlocking brick methods used in earthquake-prone areas today to improve structural resilience. Then there's the fascinating use of resonant granite stones in pillars as seen in temples like Hampi's Vitala Temple. When tapped, these granite pillars produce musical notes, a phenomenon scientists attribute to their crystalline structure. Could it be that ancient builders knew about the acoustical properties of certain materials, creating temples that amplified sound energy, much like a modern concert hall? The Chidambaram Temple is another enigma. Located at a powerful geomagnetic point, this temple is said to be aligned with the cosmic axis. Local legends say it's the Space Temple. Existing at the exact center of Earth's magnetic field, this placement is so precise that some scientists now theorize it could amplify the planet's natural magnetic energy, just as modern technologies use magnetic fields in medicine and machinery. And there's the Meenakshi Temple in Madurai. This temple's structure is based on the sacred geometry known as Sri Yantra, an ancient symbol that represents the balance between cosmic forces. The temple has a unique design with over 14 Gopuram's towers, each serving as an energy point that harmonizes with the natural surroundings. Myths say this was a place of awakening, where visitors could experience heightened awareness. Could it be that this temple design taps into frequencies that influence the mind, similar to how certain modern frequencies affect our brainwaves? Some temples were even built with stones containing magnetic properties, possibly to enhance the Earth's magnetic field within the temple walls. Such design choices make us wonder if these structures were crafted to create unique energy zones where worshippers could experience heightened states of awareness or connection. Some dismiss these ideas as myths, but the more we study, the more we find evidence that challenges conventional history. Ancient texts, like the Agamas and Shilpa Shastras, describe principles of architecture that are shockingly advanced. The Agamas speak of sacred vibrations, frequencies embedded in the stone carvings and temple layouts that could enhance energy fields. What if the temples were designed to act as resonance chambers with these carvings actually serving a technological purpose? Inscriptions found in temples like those in Kajuraho depict what appear to be tools, some resembling tuning forks, others similar to energy harnessing devices. These carvings aren't random, they depict what ancient texts call the instruments of the gods, suggesting a belief that temples could connect to higher forces. Could these tools have been more than symbolic actual devices for channeling cosmic energy? Could it be that these instruments were finely tuned to interact with natural energies, acting almost like antennas? While we think of technology as something made of metal and circuits, what if these tools were designed to work in harmony with the Earth's own frequencies, tapping into forces beyond our current science? One of the most fascinating theories centers around these temples as part of a network. Ancient maps suggest a layout across India that aligns with the Earth's magnetic ley lines, the same grid that some believe connects the pyramids of Egypt, Stonehenge and other ancient sites worldwide. By aligning these temples, ancient builders may have created a spiritual power grid where each site fed energy into the others. And let's not forget the Akashic Records, an idea found in ancient Hindu texts that speaks of a record of knowledge stored in a cosmic field, accessible only through highly attuned individuals. What if these temples were more than monuments, but entry points to this knowledge? Like computers storing information, these temples might have held records of ancient sciences, accessible through rituals, chants, and meditation. We've explored the architectural wonders, cosmic alignments, and sacred technologies of ancient Hindu temples. From sound energy to bio-enhanced plants and magnetic fields, these places may hold advanced knowledge lost to history but potentially vital for our future. Perhaps these temples weren't just places of worship. They were like blueprints for a harmonious way of life, blending science, spirituality and environmental wisdom. 
What if rediscovering these techniques could guide us toward a future where our technology harmonizes with nature, just as it did for these ancient builders? Maybe these temples were built as reminders, not just of spirituality, but of a sophisticated science we are only beginning to rediscover. What do you think? Are these technologies simply myths, or were our ancestors in touch with forces we've yet to understand? Let us know in the comments, and if ancient mysteries intrigue you, check out our video on the hidden engineering of ancient aqueducts.